We start tonight in Burlington as some residents wonder how can the city be equitable for all? A strategic session attended by several city officials earlier tonight looked to answer that question and Local 22's Devin Bates was on hand as well. He joins us now live in the studio with more. Devin? Well, Glenn, tonight's community conversation was hosted by Justice for All Vermont, and it was geared toward equity in health care, local government, and law enforcement. Now, being the largest city in the Green Mountain State, organizers feel Burlington should lead the way in creating a more equitable Vermont. Tuesday night's community forum on equity in Burlington looked to examine where the Queen City stands on issues ranging from income inequality to health care and education. Police Chief Brandon Del Pozo was on hand to listen along with other city officials and he acknowledged the role that his department plays in this dialogue. The way we police the city has a big effect on the feeling of equity in the city. Uh, it's not always perfect, but we do take that very seriously. And so on both sides of it, as an employer and as the police, I think that we're right at the center of equity issues. The forum comes a couple months after the Queen City released their 2018 Equity Report, a 22-page analysis of the city's demographics and workforce. It found that 31% of black or African American and Hispanic or Latino residents were living below the poverty level. Mark Hughes with Justice for All Vermont said creating an environment where new residents can thrive is key. One of our best hopes is to grow our population in this state as well. And with a 1.4% black population, guess who needs to come? Okay, to the state of Vermont. A better question is, is who's going to need to stay? Growing Vermont's population has been a major goal for Governor Phil Scott's administration, as has creating equity in government. Human Resources Commissioner Beth Fastigi explained how these two goals are intertwined. We need more people. Um, if we're going to attract people to move into the state or stay in Vermont, we need to have um, a state where people want to live in, want to work in, want to live in and move to and that means welcoming all people to the state of Vermont. Now, Pastigi also mentioned the recently passed Act 9, which established a director of racial equality that will combat systematic bias across state government. Live in studio, Devin Bates, Local 22 News. All right, thank you, Devin. A scary situation for drivers on Interstate 89 this afternoon. A tractor-trailer driver was suspected by police to